In this video tutorial, we will show you how to connect the HIPAA Enrollment Master to a Microsoft SQL Server database. First, we start from the Enrollment Master Start page. Then we go to the menu item Database. Then choose Connection and Data Fields. Here we can see a very detailed screen. On the left side, we have connection parameters, and on the right side, we see the fields of the three tables in which the enrollment information will be saved. Since we want to connect to Microsoft SQL Server, we see in the options here, Microsoft SQL Server Integrated Security. This works best with SQL Servers from 2008 and later. The database server name in this case is my local machine dot slash SQL Express. The database is called HIPAA Suite and the table names are filled in. We can choose our own, however these are the default names that our scripts will create. We then save the connection information here. Then click on Test Connection. We see that although we do have success establishing a connection to the database, we don't have the three tables. So we click OK. Then click on this link here to create the tables. This screen here displays the SQL scripts that are necessary to create the tables. There are three table scripts here, header, detail, and reporting categories. If we click on the button Execute Script, the table is created. We do the same for the details and reporting categories. Now when we click Test Connection, we see that all the tables are verified. We can now select the fields, in our case we will select All, so that every possible data element in the 834 can be included. Then we click Test Configuration and we see that the setup checks OK. Now we can save the field configuration here and the database setup is complete. We can now go and open one of our 834 files. Here is a sample file. We open it, then check here to export the data. We can see now that it has been added to the database. Now we go back to the database choose Stored Enrollments in the menu, and we can then see our single record is now included in the tables, the header, detail, and reporting categories. In this case, we have no information in this table, as the reporting category is more important for the health insurance exchanges, also known as Obamacare exchanges. In this data form, we can view all of the information as it is stored in the SQL Server. If we like, we can also double-click into any field, edit it, and then save the information. We can also always go back and view the record from the database displayed in the same forms that we had for the direct viewing of the EDI files. However, this time, the information on the form comes from the database. We also have options to change the query as we like. We can execute it, clear it, and from the query, we can create 834 EDI files. This concludes the video tutorial on how to connect the HIPAA Enrollment Master to a Microsoft SQL Server database.